I have the exhaust gas. I'm injecting ammonia in it. From when I have a tank that I have to have on board, storing ammonia. I'm injecting ammonia, and then I have a reactor with catalyst. So I have the exhaust gases plus ammonia get into this reactor, which reacts with a nitrous oxide to generate basically free nitrogen and water vapor. Um, I'm Gensley Capella. I'm the CEO of uh, Curoil, which is a company based in Curacao, in the Caribbean, and responsible for distribution of all oil products and also bunk rate. Uh, the reason for uh, attem uh, attending this course is to gain more experience, especially in the blending part, because we do blend the Curacao, but we are looking to optimize the blending. And, uh, Again, this by itself, we're talking about adding another two to three million dollars. It's a separate scrubber. It is not one scrubber that does everything, right? Well, of course, as the number of users of scrubber increases, the price goes down, and new design appears that can combine the two so you don't have to wear out course and I, I realized that uh, there is a lot of room for improvement for us so our objective uh, has been met uh, after attending this course uh, I would recommend it for other participants in our company at least so that we can really um, get the improvement that we are looking for the more carbons I have the more carbon dioxide is going to produce that's why people were talking about hydrogen and hydrogen economy and all that. But there is no way that we can produce hydrogen at an economical cost. Okay? All the processes that we know today, they consume more energy than the energy that you get from producing hydrogen. Not only that, not only we don't have hydrogen available, but we don't have the infrastructure to power the cars using hydrogen. And thirdly, we don't have the fuel cells that eat hydrogen to produce electricity, or otherwise the car is not going to run, right? And so forth. I think the, um, yeah. the, uh, yeah. the lecturer is uh, well experienced, uh, has been through a number of refineries and blending operations and has vast knowledge on the different type of equipment and software that will help us in uh, achieving a better blending and better economics, which is the bottom line. So, that's it. What does it show? It shows, first of all, in yellow, we have the U.S. emission of carbon dioxide. In red are the Kyoto developed States, the crazy Europeans, and you know, place like Singapore and so on. Okay. All of these are decreasing, but look at already where we are in 2010. The majority of the emissions are going to come from emerging economies like China and 